What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the World Juice Channel. Welcome back to the Arizona Cardinals franchise here on Madden 20. That is right, we are back. If you guys missed the last episode, we played week number 9 against the San Francisco 49ers. And it was a grimy, fight it out, beat each other up kind of game. It was a dirty game until the very end when... And Kyler Murray and Cliff Kingsbury, they they came up to each other. They were like, hey, what are we going to run? And then Cliff was like, we're going to run the the play that is super cheese. We're going to run the pitch with Philip Lindsay, and we're going to get a touchdown. And Kyler was like, okay. Little baby Kyler was like, okay, we're going to do that. So they line up on the line. They snap the ball. They pitch it to Philip Lindsay. He breaks a couple ankles on the right side, and he's down to the house. For a touchdown, 76 yards. I'm pretty sure all four of Philip Lindsay's touchdowns this season have been 70-plus yarders. And that was a total swing in the momentum. And then the reason it's only 27-17 to 17 is because at the very last play of the game, Kyler Murray throws a strike to the very back corner of the end zone, and Andy Isabella catches a touchdown with a little bit of toe-drag swag. And that's the reason we were up 10 instead of up by 3. So that is a little bit of a recap for week number 9. But who cares about week number 9 because we are starting week number 10 against the Tampa Bay Bucco Buccaneers and famous Jameis Winston. That's right. The interception machine known as Jameis Winston. I'm expecting at least 3 interceptions in this game against Jameis Winston and it should be a blowout but who knows who knows I thought it was going to be a blowout against the 49ers it turned out to be a very dirty grimy game and he's only thrown five interceptions this season so maybe Jameis Winston's turning a corner who knows who really knows But if you guys are super excited for this series, remember to smash that like button, hit the notification bell, and the subscription button while you're down there. It only takes a few seconds of that and really does help me out, and I really do appreciate it. But let's get into this wet, drippy game here in Tampa. Okay, let's see what famous Jameis has gotten offer for us. Strip that ball. Watch the ship. Watch the ship. Hey, hey. Watch the ship. Hey. Ooh, running on the first play. I like it. I like it. This is going to be a, a uh, run heavy game, I would assume, because of the rain. But then again, Cliff Kingsbury, he doesn't really go towards uh, the straight and narrow. He doesn't like following what people would think, so maybe he'll throw it. He'll make Kyler throw it. So many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish the What's Jameis got for us on third and five? And he's got a nice pass to his receiver. Is that a... Oh, it's Antonio Callaway who's holding his wrist. Interesting. I didn't know they had Antonio Callaway, really. Good old Bobby Alford. Jones tackled by Jones. That's a little weird. Come on, they're getting a little close to midfield. I'm not liking this. They're putting together a nice little drive here. And that's uh, O.J. Howard, right? Oh, no, it's Jordan Leggett. Or Leggett. Whatever, however you say his name. Oh, I was in the backfield, bro. I was ready to sack that man's balls right off. I love a good basement, that's for sure. Oh, I'm pretty sure somebody got somebody got a hand on Winston. Because he didn't step into that throw like he should have. No, why did he get the first down? Yeah, 
They're almost in the red zone, boys. We gotta tighten them cheeks. Oh, I almost picked that off of Patrick Peterson. Pat Pete almost got that, bro. It should have been. I don't know why. Maybe the ball was slippery or something. Nobody likes slippery balls. And we got him. He ran right into Peters. Corey Peters, baby. He went, ran right into him. Okay, we got to stop him here so that they can't get into field goal range. And they're going to get into field goal range. And he fumbled it. Big hit, Buddha. That's what I'm freaking talking about. Let's go. That's why I nicknamed you that boy. Big hit, Buddha. Let's go. And just like we thought. Oh! What was that? Larry Fitzgerald's going to take it to the house. You got to be kidding me. What just happened? Give me the touchdown. We got to go back and look at this. That's not even who I threw it to. Okay, let's go. Let's watch instant replay here. Okay, let's zoom in on little baby Kyler. He snaps it, the fake handoff to Phil Lindsay. I throw it to Jason Witten because he's got separation right here. Look at this. I notice it right there. He's got separation. So I'm like, okay, Kyler's going to throw this. He throws it back. Where's the pass interference at? Right there? Is that what they called? Let's, let's zoom in on this pass interference here. Okay. So that's the pass interference, I would assume, because nothing else really happened. Oh, duh. That's the pass interference. Jason Witten, because Jason Witten was the target. See, Larry, this is a veteran move by Larry Fitzgerald. I got to give him props. He notices, look at that, right there, he looks back and sees the ball's coming. Like, right here. You can see, he looks back, he thinks the ball's coming to him. So he stops Right there, he turns his route. Then he notices for a quick second that Jason Witten's not going to get this ball because his arms are getting held down by the linebacker. My God, this is a good play from Larry Fitzgerald. He gets, Jason Witten gets called for pass, or this linebacker gets called for pass interference on Jason Witten. And then Larry Fitzgerald just ends up catching this football, staying in bounds, and taking it to the house. I can't freaking believe this. Larry Fitzgerald just made... One of the greatest plays I've ever seen. Oh man, I think I just found the title of my video. What a play from Larry Fitzgerald. That is why he is one of the greatest of all time. Plain and simple. I'd like to take credit for that, but I just thrown it to Jason Witten, so I mean, I didn't even think Larry Fitzgerald was going to stop on his route. I thought he was going to keep going, but he surprised me. Well, there's the first interception. Oh, no, that was a fumble. I thought we had an interception, but it was a fumble, so we're going to have to keep working for those three interceptions. I can't lie to you guys. I already called three interceptions this game. We almost had one. Pat Pete should have had that. I don't know what he was doing. I know it was a slippery ball, but he really should have had that. So now we got to try and pick him off three times. Ooh, big hit. Another fumble. Oh, that time the lineman picked it up. Is that Ali Marpet? I think it is. Oh, no, it's uh, the center. Man, that sucks. Another fumble we forced, but they picked it up this time. Luckily, he didn't roll over and get the first down. That one sucked even worse. Okay. Let's see if we can get another touchdown here. Take it away. 
And he is met in his tracks behind not what I was hoping for. Ooh, I do love myself a skinny post. On second down, here's Murray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's just gonna get rid of this. I had to throw that away. I didn't have anything. They got there too quickly. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To throw is Murray. Oh no, Murray! Witten was open. I didn't mean to punt the, click the punt button. I was pressing too many buttons. I can't believe Murray missed that. He was open. My dude was wide open. Well, who cares about last year? No! I threw the football. Hmm, that sucks, dude. I threw the football. It's not my fault that Murray has to throw it. So he has to take so long to throw it. If I click the button, he should already have the ball out. Ooh, a flag on the play. Free play. Yeah, it's a touchdown. Holding. Of course it's coming back. They ran the same exact play, too. Yeah, love those screen plays. Out of bounds, he's out of bounds. Thank you. I like how he just caught it, just gingerly catching the football. And they get the field goal. Man, I can't believe I got sacked on fourth down. Okay, let's see if we can turn this drive around. Ooh, that guy's on press coverage there on Larry. I gotta get it out. No! Offensive pass interference. What is happening? Uh, ooh, these games always go so crappy. Why can't we just blow people out? I just want to blow somebody. Yeah, you can, I said that. You can you can cut you can cut that up. I don't care. Just make a soundboard of my stupid sayings. Come on, Jameis. You ain't got nothing. Tighten the cheeks. There we go, Jordan Hicks. We got three yards of space to give up. Get him, yes! Reed, baby! Third and goal. 
We got five yards before they can score a touchdown. Let's tighten these cheeks one last time. Pat Pete, good tackle. Good freaking tackle. That's why you're a goat. Our defense is doing its job, but holding them to field goals. Speedy boy Andy Isabella. He's going to take this one out of the end zone. Oh, I thought I could uh, sneak around that. It's all right, as long as I don't throw a stupid interception. All right, two minutes to go in the half, seven to six. Good job, Larry. Larry Fitz. Oh, A.B. You got to fight through that contact and catch that ball. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against the zone before the next guy can get there? Go, Kyler, go. Go, go, Kyler Murray. Situation there, the defense won the battle. And quickly, they get to the line. There's Murray. Oh, face mask. Thank you. Can't be grabbing my face mask like that. What are you doing? Look at this dude out here grabbing face masks. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just try to do your job, right? Try to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march up another 15 against your squad. Ooh, Antonio Brown catching another pass. Look at the rain not stopping Kyler. A good grab there by the former Central Michigan man, Antonio Brown. No, Antonio Brown's hurt? I think the most impressive part of it, though, if there's a chance for him to get the football, even though he was covered well, he somehow finds a way to get it. Murray again, second and ten. Flush to his right. Why didn't, why didn't my Jason, I told Jason Wheaton to release. He should have let go of his block and release. But no, he just kept blocking. Oh, Kyler's got a touchdown here. Kyler has a freaking touchdown. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Kyler Murray doesn't run for a lot of touchdowns. But when he does, he drinks Dos Equis. Oh, fumble! Oh, he got it back. Oh, wait, no, I got it. All right! I'm not sure what happened, really. Darn it, he was down. That sucks, but they only have 24 seconds. And then we get the ball anyway in the second half, so. There we go. Let's see if they can get in the field goal range, try and claw their way back into this one. They're not down by that much. They're only down by a touchdown. Or one score, I should say. 
16 seconds left. They don't have much time. They ain't got much time left. They ain't got much time left. Ooh, ooh, that was a good play. That was a good play. It comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. Jameis now on first down. Ooh, that's a pick. Patrick Peterson redeeming himself, baby. Can he return it, though? He's got people to beat. There we go. We got a touch. Or we got an interception. So we got one of them. Now we just need to get two more so I don't have to lie to you guys. This is a rainy, sloppy game. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? Look at that, Captain Kirk. We'll go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to 148 yards in the rain. That's a real man. During this game, try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown. Oh, look at Isabella on that one. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. It's a gain of 11 and a cardinal first down. I like that that counts as a pass. Ooh, that could have hurt his ankle or something. It'll set up a second and seven. And they're going to speed things up here. On second and seven. Come on, block me! Screen <laughs> the screen, I'm not, I'm not supposed to be out ahead of you guys. Like, what are we doing here? That one a first down pick up of eight. Shotgun now from Murray. Look at this. Antonio Brown just torching people. Down to the five. The Cardinal passing game dialed in now. First down. Get in there, Lindsay. Get in there. Ah, oh, so close. We gotta try and grind it. Fight it. He's in there. That's what I'm talking about, Phil. He's the goat, bro. This is how I thought this game was going to go. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now... I can't believe I'm kicking these balls out of the end zone. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. What do you got, Jameis? What do you got? Probably another interception. Start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. You ain't got nothing on me. No. Oh. <laughs> that man got... Is that Eric Berry? Is that, or is that Hassan Reddick? I don't know, but somebody got flipped around. Yes, good tackle. Butler, baby. Bring him down. Good job. Okay, Jameis. I'm waiting for the interception. Don't let him get it. Yes, Bobby Alford, baby. Punt that football back to Arizona. 
pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football. And that's going out of bounds at the 13. That's a cheeky little punt. Let's go. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter. And the passing game for them, it's been terrific. We've seen block, my dude, block. Oh, David, what are you hurt again? I'm trying to get the running game to come back to life. Technically, it was never dead. I just didn't run. There we go. That's another solid run. This lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point. Gonna make that defense stand up and stop them. Oh, I thought I was gonna get that for sure. Back now in Tampa. It's Cardinal football. They're also out in front of the scoreboard as we get set for the fourth. Third and two, and here's Murray. Yes, AB. And he takes it across the making some solid catches. Come on, Kenyon. I know I don't use it very much. Oh, I was on the ground. No, I was on the ground. I was totally 100% on the ground when that ball came out. You better, you better freaking review that. I was wholeheartedly 100% on the ground. Thank you. Give me the ball back. Thank you. That was just, that would have been so stupid. I would have been so mad. I would have raged. I would have done everything. They would have kept that as a fumble. Keep fighting, Lizzie. Oh, no. One of these delayed ones. He's always get me screwed. I threw it, but apparently not. Whatever you say, Madden. Ah, oh, yes! What a catch, my dude. That's a hard-nosed football play right there. Well, I mean, I didn't intend for it to be that big of a play. I was just going for a first down. Really. Come on, Lindsay, keep fighting. Oh. oh, I was already down. Okay, I thought I lost the football again. I would have been so mad. I'm trying to put this game on ice. You don't know how hard it is. The ice is melted. Yeah, Kyler Murray with a quick strike. And I think that's the record. I think Kyler Murray just beat Jameis Winston's rookie record. I'm pretty sure that is the record for Kyler Murray. Most touchdowns thrown by a rookie in one season. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes, he juked. Why did he juke? That was a good kick return. I mean, they're going to lose, but it doesn't look like I'm going to get three interceptions. Yeah, Max Crosby bringing him down. Let's go, Max. I like how he has double X's, is how he spells his name. Oh, man, they got it right back. Two minutes left. 
we can do this. Yeah! Two interceptions. <clears throat> no, excuse me. Two interceptions. Can I return this one? Yeah, I can. What are you talking about? Patrick Peterson. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Pat Pete, baby. Pick six. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. So I'm not going to get... I might get three now, now that I have two. And they got a minute 49 left to go, so I might get a third one. Maybe I won't lie to you guys. Anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well prepared. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This will be fielded at the six. Ooh, big tackles. Big tackles from Andy Isabel. I love that man. Okay, let's see if I can get a third interception. Don't fumble it, because we need them to have as much time as they can so they can throw another interception. Because we all know... Jameis Winston loves to throw himself some interceptions. Oh, that, were, that was it. That was it, Bobby Alford. You should have had that. Okay, a minute to go. We got to get that interception here. There it is, there it is. Oh, no, I didn't jump. Oh, that screwed me. I didn't jump. There we go. Hassan Reddick's out there getting sacks now. There it is. That, that's it. That's it. No. Pick it. Pick it. Pick it. Oh. At least they didn't catch it. That would have been bad. Talk about awkward. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Winston. That's taken in by Okay, they should throw it again. He yeah, okay, I was right. I was hoping they wouldn't kick the field goal. That would have been super awkward. That would have been an Ako Taco right there. And nobody likes an Ako Taco. Aw, oh, that's what you picked to throw on fourth down? So we're only going to get two interceptions. So I did lie to you guys, but it was only a prediction, so it's not that big of a deal. Andy, you should have caught that. I put the weight of the world on you, and you let me down. Did he catch that? Good job. Oh, but the time the timeout didn't really matter because the game's over. But that was a freaking good catch from Antonio Brown. Good job. We got another W. Ten wins. This team is good. Kyler Murray is the record holder for most touchdowns thrown by a rookie in a season. Sometimes it's just sharpening your execution, sharpening your focus. 287 and two touchdowns for Kyla Murray. That's what you like to see. There's the man that got two sacks on his last game. Nick Bosa. But now we're playing the aforementioned Nick Bosa and his 49ers once again. We played him last week and now we play him next week. But that is going to be in the next episode. Make sure to smash that like button, hit the notification bell, and the subscription button while you're down there. It only takes a few seconds, if that, and it really does help me out. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next one. See ya!